There's been some uh, confusion lately about what exactly this new better get used to its skip is and how to perform it optimally. So I thought I would um, compile everything that we have learned uh, since my last video on it into one new video, which also contains, uh, in addition to the skip that I found, also an optimization by Lollapuza, as well as some uh, war clips by Pudingos. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drive up to Biff and start his dialogue as normal. So we can do that any way we want, but uh, the fastest way, I guess, is to park uh, to his immediate right, making sure that we're close enough that Polly is within three meters of it, of him. So we don't have to wait for Polly to get closer. And as soon as the dialogue starts, we can go. We don't have to wait for a certain line. Now here, uh, after starting the dialogue, the dialogue needs no cops to start, as as uh, in all sorts. But after starting the dialogue, we don't have to worry about cops anymore. So we can have cops if we want. Now, first thing that we'll do is uh, we will clip through this uh, first gate as usual, as we did with all stats, and kill this guy as usual. Now, here is where it becomes different. If you see this line on the ground here, I'm gonna stand somewhere in the middle of it, and I'm gonna aim towards that line on the shed. Then I sidewall, switch weapon and walk right, right afterwards. That allows me to clip through the fence over here. So next up, I come over here. And this is just the fourth clip that we will do in normal stats. So same setup, we look towards the edge of that and then clip. Now instead of going towards uh, that trigger over there, I'm going to go this way. If I don't get too close to these two guys, they won't be aggressive. And then for the next clip, I want to clip through this wall, but it's kind of hard because this is like a double wall. So I'm going to stand here. I'm going to look towards the edge of that. If you can see where it turns from, uh, I guess, uh, orange to white. Uh, fight wall and um, change weapon if normal. Then look towards the wall and walk backwards. Tap backwards a few times. That allows me to clip. Once we've done that, we hit this trigger here, then come over here. If we hear the voice lines from those guys, then that's good, that means we hit the trigger. Look towards the explosive barrels and the clip. Then we walk into the trigger. If we want to avoid the folding animation, we can just walk on this left wall. And that's it. So to recap, after we do the first clip and kill the boss, then the second clip is done uh, here in the middle of this line. Look there, clip, change weapon and walk right at, uh, at roughly the same time. Walk right just immediately after changing weapons. If you do it too late, it may not work. Uh, second clip, same as usual. Then over here, at the edge between the white and the and the orange, turn towards the wall without moving, I'm not moving, and then tap backwards, so that we can come and hit the trigger. Uh, don't walk too far here, otherwise you'll get pushed out of the wall, and that's not good. And then look towards the explosive vials. walk to the end. So if you uh, do this um, without mistakes, I guess, then I guess this has the potential to save something like 30 seconds over all stats, so it's pretty good. <laughs> 